हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ अकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड बॉन्डिंग इन बोरेंस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द यूजेस ऑफ बोरेंस देयर आर नॉट इनफ वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन टू फॉर्म कन्वेंशनल टू इलेक्ट्रॉन बॉन्ड बिटवीन ऑल द एडजस्टेंस पेयर ऑफ एटम्स देयर कंपाउंड्स आर ट्रम्ड एज वॉट इलेक्ट्रॉन डिफिशियंट कंपाउंड्स ऑल बोरेंस आर वॉट इलेक्ट्रॉन डिफिशियंट कंपाउंड्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग स्टूडेंट्स There is no two electron bond system in the borings. That is why it is called as what electron deficient compounds. Now, students, here we are going to see the structures and bonding diborings. First, we are going to see the structure. This is the example that is B2S6. In B2S6, that is in diborings, students. Now, when you see the electronic configuration of boron, atomic number is five. Its electronic configuration will be one S2, two S2, two P1. Yet two S2 and two P1 elect energy level is very close to. That is why this electron will. Excite and it will migrate to here. Understanding, students. Now, what happens, students? Boron five. There is a an excited state electronic of configuration, students. Excited state electronic configuration. One of the electron from two s will migrate and it is coming here. So, electronic configuration will becomes two s one and two p two. Understanding, students. Boron will go sp three hybridization. Sp three hybrid. All these three one is vacant. Other is what one one with along with one one electrons. They will hybridize. They will go to the sp3 hybridizations and they will form four, four sp3, four sp3 hybrid orbital atomic orbitals of boron. Understand is these are the four sp3 hybrid or atomic orbitals of borons. Understand is means one orbital is what vacant. Now what happens means the sp3 hybridized orbitals of boron atom overlap with one s orbital of hydrogen atoms. Understand is means it will overlap with the one s hydrogen. One s orbital of hydrogen atom like this. Now here, students, you have boron, boron, boron at four sp3 hybrid orbitals. These are the four sp3 hybrid orbitals. Understanding of each borons. Now we have six hydrogen. How the six hydrogen will two hydrogen will be here at the terminal, and one will be what present as a bridging hydrogen. Understanding, students. So when you see the bond length, students, between boron hydrogen, that is terminal, is one point nine nine and strong, and the Boron hydrogen, which are present in bridge form, is one point three three Armstrong. Understand? So this way we can identify which one is the bridge bridging. That is banana bond. It will form the banana bond. Understand? So boron hydrogen. There is two types of bond length. This one is one point nine nine Armstrong, and second is what one point three three Armstrong. Now, students, in the structure of B two S six, there are two coplanar. Understanding? There is a two coplanar. That is boron. And two hydrogen, that is BH two units are present, and hydrogen atom of the two units are in the same environmental called the terminal hydrogen atoms. Understanding that we have seen, these coplanar units are joined by together with bridge hydrogen. Understanding there is a bridging hydrogen also we have seen, bridging and terminal bridging and terminal hydrogens are different from each other. It is supported by Roman. IR and NMR spectra. From this, we comes to know. So these are the bridging hydrogen, and that is what, and other is what terminal hydrogen. With the help of the IR NMR spectroscopy, we can identify. Now, students, we can once again we can see the structure. Here, students, these are the sp3 hybrid orbitals. Understanding, students, all four sp3 hybrid hybrid orbitals. So one of the here the electrons, one electron from the hydrogen and one electron from the borons. Understanding, students, these they are overlapping and they are forming what? There is a three centered and two electrons. That is called as it is called as banana bond. Understanding? It is looks like this. This is banana bond. Here the hydrogens are present here. Understanding, students? And this is the terminal hydrogen B H B H. Understanding? So this way we can explain the bonding in bo diboron B two E H six. Understanding? So this B two E H six having the structure like this. Understanding? Bridging hydrogens are confirmed by the methylation reaction. If you do the methylation, you comes to know. Whether it is bridging hydrogen or terminal hydrogen, diboron cannot be methylated beyond. This is the methyl tetra methyl B two H two, which has confirmed that hydrogen do not get methylated or bridging hydrogen. The hydrogen which are not coming for the methylation which has not been that is called they are what bridging hydrogens. Understanding students only the terminal will hydrolyze. Understanding there is a four terminal B H bond that is why there is what tetra methyl boron. Understanding which confirm the hydrogen do not get methylated. Are bridging hydrogen, understanding? So this way we can identify the bridging hydrogen. Diboron provides two types of bonds: two centered, two electron that is BH terminal bond, and three centered, 
3c and 2e that is two electron that is bhb that we call as bridging bond so from these students we comes to know there is a bh terminal bond and bhb what bridging bond understanding students two centered two electron that is bh terminal bond and three centered two electron that is bhb bond this way we can identify terminal bond and the bridging bond understanding now students one more compound we are going to see that we are going to see the structures and bonding that is called as tetra boron b4h10 now again students if you want to explain this tetra boron bonding and structures you should start the answer like this boron atomic number is what 5 its electronic configuration will be 1s2 2s2 2p1 understanding there is a two electrons and there is one one electron what happens at excited state electronic configuration students these one electrons will migrate and it will come here and there is a hybridization sp3 hybridizations will take place understanding students and it will form four sp3 atomic orbitals of boron now what happens to the structure of b4h10 can be explained by writing plane projection of its structure you can write when you write the structure of b4h that is tetra boron in plane projection formula students it can be seen that out of 22 electrons out of 22 electrons 22 electrons that is valence electron 12 electrons from four borons because here it is we can say b4h10 so four multiplied by 12 Four threes are twelve. Four threes are three electrons are there. So twelve electrons from four borons atom and ten electrons from ten hydrogen atoms. So it means twelve plus ten. How much? It will become twenty two. So this will be structure twins boron boron bond and and boron hydrogen bond will be like this. And so here which type of bonding are these twins? Here four bridging that is BHB bond. Three center two electron carry eight electrons. Understand twins? How many bridging bond twins? BHB 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 there will be four bridging bhb bond that is three centered one center here one center here and one center only two electrons are involved in this bonding that is why it is called as four bridging bhb bond that is two centered two electron that is having eight electrons now there is a six terminals boron hydrogen bond there is what six terminals bh bh and here you have bh 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 and bh so there is a how many six terminal bh bond that is two center two electron one center is here, one center is here, one center here, one center. That is why it is called as two center, two electrons bond. So BH is what? There is a six terminal bond. One bond is here, second here, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. So six terminal BH bond that is two center, two electrons will carry. So six to, to the 12, 12 electron will having this. Now there is a one boron. There is what? One boron boron bond that is called as what? Two centered and two electron system that is total two electrons when you add all these electron students it will come 22 electrons so this way we can explain the structures and bonding and total number of electrons are present in the valence cell so these are very important students now we are going to see the second structure and bonding in b5h9 that is called as pentaborane it's called as what pentaborane now here are also students you have to start the answer like this boron atomic number five its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p1 understanding at excited state students what happens except when the hydrogen approaches towards the boron there's a excitation will take place this electron will migrate to the 2p orbitals what happens students the electronic configuration it will form sp4 sp3 hybrid atomic orbitals of boron will form here three is what filled with one one electron one is what with absence of electron that is why it is called as what electron deficient compound now what happens when bonding in b5h5 can be explained by considering plane projection of its structure when you write down the structure of b5h9 h9 in plane projection form students you are getting total 24 electrons are present in the valence cell of b5h9 understand it? now how you are going to explain 24 electron students so now you know one a boron atom will carry three electrons in the valence cell so if you multiply by five what happens students 15 electrons from five boron atom and nine electrons from the nine hydrogen atoms so students this will be the structure of the b5 this is the structure of b5 b5 h9 understanding students so this is the structure students b5 h9 this is the structure we call as what it is present in plane projection formula now here students you will find four bridging bhb bond there is a what four bridging bhb bonds are there students here it is one second you have students bhb are third fourth and this is the fourth one so first bhb bond second bhb bond third bhb bond and this is what fourth there is a four bridging bhb bond that is two three centered and two electron system so this bond will having two electrons only and it has got three centered understanding students so four bridging bhb bond that is three centered two electron will carry eight electrons now there is a five terminal bh bond when you see that students there is a five terminals terminal bh bond is this is the one two three four and there is a what? This is fifth. 
so there is a five terminal bsb1 that is two center two electron having only two electrons so if you multiply with two you have 10 electrons now there is a two boron boron bond students this is the boron boron bond boron boron bond students there is a two boron boron bond and it is two center two electron system students will carry four electrons now there is a one closed boron boron bond that is three center two electrons understand is three centered and only two electrons these bonds are made up of so we will carry two electrons totally when you add students all this will become becomes 24 electrons this way we can explain the structures and bonding of b5 h9 understand students now we are going to see hexaboron in examination they may ask explain the structure and bonding in hexaboron so you have to start the answer like this students atomic number of boron is five its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p1 this is the electronic configuration as ground state students what happens students when the hydrogen approaches towards the boron this electron will migrate and it will electronic configuration will be 2s1 2p2 understanding now what happens students the boron atom in boron h10 they it will form sp3 hybridization there will be four sp3 hybrid atomic orbitals of boron atom students carry three electrons only that is why it is called as what electron deficient hexaboron is also what electron deficient compound the structure of b6 s10 can be explained by writing the plane projection form when you write down the structure of hexaboron students in plane projection form it can be seen that out of 28 electron valence electrons are present and six boron atom understand students it can be seen out of 28 electrons the electrons of hydrogen and six boron atoms the structure of boron students when you write students this is the equals to b6 s10 understanding students when you write the b6 s10 plane projection formula students this will, this will be the structure now when you see students in this structure you will find four bridging bhb bond that is three center two electron will carry eight electrons understanding four bridging bond students there bhb this is the one bhb and there is you will find a second third and this is what fourth so there will be four bridging bhb bond that is three center two electron will carry eight electrons and there is a six terminal bhb bond that is two center two electrons students it has six terminals you will find bh bh this is third third one fourth fifth and this is what six so total it have you have six terminal bh bond that is two center two electron will carry 12 electrons now you have students two boron boron bond boron boron bond you have two types of boron boron bond students boron 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 bond and it is two center two electron system students you can see boron boron bond so total four electrons are there students understanding now there is a two closed boron 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 bond that is three center two electrons and will carry four yeah. total when you add students you are getting 28 electrons so this compound will have 28 electron in the valence cell now what happens students? now we are going to see the uses now all the borons are good reducing agent understanding students because of the hydrogen so borons are what good reducing agent when you see the students organic compounds can be easily reduced by borons all the organic compounds you can easily reduce with the help of the borons so these are very very important students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you